Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, y'all. Y'all feeling the content. So, Devin Haney is being accused of ducking Shakur Stevenson by Hall of Fame writer Barry McGuigan. Barry said that the 75-25 per split is insulting. And this is according to uh, BoxingSocial.com. Go check out their site. Basically saying, it says, you know, the public wants to make the, uh, or the public wants to see the Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson fight. And I don't know, basically just saying that he shouldn't, he, it's insulting for him, for Shakur to be offered a 75-25 split. I've seen a lot of people on my channel and even on other channels say that Devin's ducking Shakur and how could you offer a a 25% split if I remember right they offered Shakur maybe 8 million somewhere around there it was it was it was definitely several M's but even Shakur said that he feels like his value is worth it and I think a lot of people who's on my page think that I'm a Shakur Stevenson let me make this clear I'm a fan of Shakur I'm a fan of Devin honestly I I rep all these fighters but if we gonna be fair boxing's always an A side and B side right cause this is what people be telling me in the comment section and all these different boxing groups right so then if there's an A side and B side I don't have a problem with Devin Haney offering Shakur Stevenson a 25% per split. Number one, you make $8 million. Number two, you're not coming in with no leverage in the fight. You're not a champion at 135, and Devin Haney has all the belts. It ain't like he just got the WBC belt. He got all four sanctioned and mighty belts, all of them. Undefeated, just had a, a match with Hall of Famer, a future Hall of Famer, Vasil Hightech Lomachenko. And Devin Haney also went to Britain. I mean, Britain. <laughs> he went to Australia and fought twice. And he was the B-side and took less money even when Eddie Hearn said that he shouldn't take that fight. And when no, I seen everybody say, oh, yeah, that's what Dev gets, you know. I didn't hear nobody complaining when George Cambosas was the, was the complete A-side and dictated everything. For him in the Devin Haney match. So no. And guess what? If Shakur was undisputed, undefeated, and he offered Devin Haney a 25% split, and Devin Haney went on there complaining, I wouldn't have nothing to say about it. I wouldn't. You wouldn't hear me say a word about it. I'd be like, hey, look at the resumes. And you know, this is the thing of boxing. I mean, every fighter is going to complain, and everybody's going to say, oh. You know, they this person deserves more. When, when, when people went up against Floyd, Floyd was the A side. If you're going up against Tank at this particular moment, at this moment, Tank is the A side. And we got to understand it about boxing. There's always been an A, a and B side, y'all. There's nothing. There is no robbery. For being offered eight million dollars to fight, especially for undisputed. And guess what? If Shakur were going there and and beat Devin Haney, Shakur is now the A side, and Shakur has all the belts. And yeah, he's popular. He ride around. He's with uh, Jay Prince, Andre Ward. Shout out to them brothers. He good. But see, that's the problem. Nobody wants to sacrifice, and that's what I like about Devin Haney. Devin Haney went over to Australia. And took less money in two fights just to get all the belts. So no, when you when you and just like Terrence Bud Crawford, when you get undisputed, undefeated, you are undisputed and you got all the belts, man. No, man. You can do what you want. And honestly, 25% is a heck of a deal because other people would have probably offered offer Shakur two, three million and, and been like, well, take it or leave it. And would have tried to squeeze him with other parts of the negotiating besides just the pay. 
But I've been telling y'all, man, this fight wasn't going to happen, man. Shakur going to want at least close to a 50-50 split and fine. But he going to have to start collecting belts. And Devin Haney is very close to being a five-time champion. He's a few weeks away from becoming the WBC champion. If all goes well for him. At 140 pounds. So... Again, Devin Haney is going to be the A side. So, no, there is no ducking. I mean, how can you duck somebody when you make them offer and they reject it? And you talking about it's a low ball offer. But where was it all this complaining when Devin Haney was getting this? Well, Lomachenko was ducking Devin Haney. Y'all remember that? Devin Haney became Lomachenko's mandatory. WBC makes him a franchise champion when they originally said the franchise title wasn't even a real belt. But then y'all turn around and call Devin Haney the email champion. I was here for all of that. Because Lomachenko Lomachenko was ducking. Ryan, Ryan Garcia ducked Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia was Devin Haney's mandatory. He didn't want no problems. I didn't see the new. I didn't see nobody ridiculing him. Why does Devin Haney is the one that gets all of this hate? I don't, I don't understand it. You know, and Shakur running around telling him to sign a contract. Okay, well, well then Devin Haney finally makes your offer, and you don't want to fight. You saying it's not enough. Ryan Garcia took less to fight Tank Davis. Now, he ended up not, not winning, but salute to Ryan. I ain't going to never clown Ryan for, for, for doing that. And Ryan was an extremely popular fighter and took B-side on everything. Even when Oscar and them didn't want him to do it. So, Shakur, why don't you do that? And if you go in there and you dog walk Devin Haney, you the A-side now. It's simple, but no, everybody want to be the A-side But they haven't earned it at this particular moment. But that's just my quick opinion about it. What y'all think? 